The destruction of the political right is as inevitable as their own insanity. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that the political right are insane. The political right are insane. <laughs> well, I mean, any Republican walking the earth voted twice for the worst president ever! <laughs> it's hard to remain calm, knowing, you see, that to there are people walking the earth dumb enough to have voted twice for the worst president ever! It would be my contention in all seriousness, my friends, that the political right are insane! <laughs> that the political right are just like insane! The political right are frickin' insane! The political right are frickin' insane! <laughs> and they prove it when they get into power, huh? When, Repu <laughs> when Republicans get into power, it's like... <laughs> Hi, uh, in case you just... <laughs> Hi, in case you just tuned in, we were pointing out that when Republicans get into power, it's like... <laughs> like about the right, if anything, <laughs> is that they contain within themselves the seeds of their own destruction. Oh, don't you understand, my friend? The political right are completely insane! Just a thought. I would suggest to you that the political right, the extreme political right, like the neocons, are completely insane! Well, I don't mean relatively insane, you know, or metaphorically insane. I mean, like, literally insane. Well, I think they're literally insane. The last six years, I mean, the, the six years when the neocons ruled, my friends, all they did was screw up and blame everybody else. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, they piddled away the Clinton surplus. Yes, they piddled away the Clinton surplus. Don't you hate the way the neocons piddled away the Clinton surplus? Piddled away the Clinton surplus. The, the neocons, they kind of screwed up. They just started screwing up, you know? Right away, they started to piddle away the Clinton surplus, piddle away the Clinton surplus. Oh, what am I laughing about? Well, we laugh and we cry, but we watched the neocons take the biggest surplus in American history. Oh, thank you, Bill Clinton. Yeah. Well, you know, as I like to say, Bill Clinton inherited what was then the biggest deficit in American history. <laughs> Hear that sound? That's that unforgettable neocon sound. Okay, so the first thing the neocons started to do was fiddle away the Clinton surplus! Fiddle away the Clinton surplus! And then, <laughs> as if that wasn't bad enough, they let 9 11 happen! They
Well, that's what you call seeds of destruction, huh? <laughs> You are watching Austin's beloved Perry Logan in Seeds of Destruction! Seeds of about the neocons is that their thinking was so obviously defective. <laughs> the uh, neocons thinking was so obviously defective. <laughs> uh, this is Professor Perry Logan. I would like to point out the obvious fact that the neocons thinking is obviously defective. <laughs> 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 Well, in case you don't know, uh, the neocons subscribe to all the crackpot right-wing ideas. You know, and that's part of the, the catastrophe that occurred. So, woo, woo. We laugh and we cry here on uh, February 8th, 2007. Fortunately, uh, an aroused populace was able to beat the Republican hack. Uh, let's, uh... Hey, let's make no bones about it. The Republicans have got the whole system seriously rigged. We were lucky to do it. But you see, that is just kind of a tribute. You see, we beat the hack. Oh, my friends. For the record, the exit poll numbers in the 2006 midterm elections were fishy. Now, you know, people are watching the elections like hawks. Well, this helped defeat the Republican machine. My friends, they've got all the money. They've got control of the media, so the media plays it their way on everything. <laughs> they have got the districts gerrymandered. Uh, they write the news for us. You see what I mean? The news is written by people who think the right is like okay. In other words, people who are seriously insane. <laughs> People containing within themselves the seeds of their own destruction. The winter of the neocons may be over, right? Yeah, they sowed the seeds of their own destruction when they finally maneuvered themselves by, you know, an incredible means. It's pretty much on the historical record that the political right has gotten pretty well organized. They are exceedingly well funded. Uh, they have gotten very well organized. Our own local daily, the Austin American Statesman, endorsed the worst president ever in the last election. Like many other right-wing controlled local dailies, you see, a paper which purports to serve the liberal people of Austin, Texas, the local daily purports to serve the liberal citizens of Austin, Texas, and yet they decided to go with the worst president ever. Oh, they decided to go with the worst president ever. Okay. <laughs> and somehow, even though the exit poll numbers were fishy in 2006. Ah. News flash, the exit poll numbers were fishy. In other words, they were trying to steal it. Is this weird? Yeah, this is weird. I mean, they've got all the money and they got control. They write the news. Write the news, write the news, baby. People who voted twice for the worst president. Blah! People who voted twice for the worst president ever are writing the news. People who voted twice for the worst president ever are writing the news. 